Well, after cleaning the uh, very moldy old record, it's time to finally clear uh, and replace the chemical bath in my ultrasonic cleaner. So as usual, I decided to make a little video of it. Oops, let's not have that fall anywhere. So prepare the tank for draining. This is going to have to be done in several stages because I only have a four liter bottle. And out it comes. Four liters gone. Now we just let it drain out. pretty gooey <laughs> yeah uh, quite a few dirty records went through there as well as the uh, really bad moldy one so it all disappeared down the pipes and I'll put in some flush water before I start cleaning it up That's probably what all it's going to do on its own. So I'm closing the drain. Throwing in just a little bit of plain tap water. I'm going to use that to rub out the tank. A quick wipe down with a Lysol wipe. And now just a plain tap water rinse. Now the benefit here is I'm pushing uh, straight tap water through the filter and all the lines so they're getting cleared out as well. And I'll go drain the filter afterwards. And we're ready to do <clears throat> the probably messy part to take the uh, filter away. Unscrew the filter. take it away to be drained and rinsed so it should just screw right back on after being rinsed out and sit back in its little holder and now comes the fun part the chemicals Make sure my drain line is closed and I'll pour in four liters of distilled water. Now let's see if we can track the endothermic reaction that's going to happen. 
I'll put a little thermometer in there. See if it'll sit up. Uh, okay. And wait for it to stabilize a bit. And we'll get a syringe while waiting for that to happen. Okay, looks like the temperature is at uh, 56 degrees. Looks to be about 13 degrees centigrade. That's four liters of distilled water. And I'm going to add uh, half a liter of 99% pure isopropyl alcohol. And watch the temperature. Okay, we're at uh, 65 degrees. It's, it's climbed uh, 10 degrees in a couple of seconds and it's still on its way up. Okay, it's at 66 degrees and it seems to have slowed down. starting to come back down 65 64 it'll come back down it was an endothermic reaction with the alcohol and the water breaking bonds next we're coming in with our ilfetol it's from ilford it's a sulfagant oops I'm having bubbly problems there we go we picked up. Now I'm putting in about five cc's per liter and the total in here is going to be what four five about seven liters. So yeah I think I'll stick with about 25 milliliters of this should do me. We got foam. And this time I'll put in five. Okay, so I put in 30 milliliters total of uh, Elfertol. And finally, unlike the uh, London Jazz vinyl collectors, I uh, add a little drop of Dawn washing up fluid it doesn't take much or the stuff will really start to foam up like a crazy and now I just top it up as needed can't get the filter sitting right back in its container where it's supposed to be there we go Uh, let the water in. Okay, that's just air being blown out of the system. begins to pump. Take away the wrong water, which I don't want to put tap water in there. Top it up to the mark with more distilled water. 
rinse them off in my manual record cleaning fluid bottle. At this point it does foam up a bit. We will do that for a short while after being mixed. And put some more in. Okay, so it's topped up. Six and a half, seven. So I've mixed up about eight liters total of uh, fluid. Run it through the pump just a little bit more. all the airs out from my lines. And at this point I do want to shut off the drain and drain out my lines. I always drain the lines out after each cleaning cycle. Now we unplug the pump, plug in the tank, give it some power. There we go. Okay, I plugged the tank in, and now I'll run it for, uh, I'll take that thermometer out. I don't need it getting vibrated. Let the tank run for about 10 minutes to let it degas the fluid. After you're done, it'll stop phoning up like that. At least for me, it does. Okay, that's about all I mix into my uh, record cleaning fluid. About seven liters of distilled water, a couple of drops of Dawn, uh, Ilfetol mixed in at five milliliters per liter of water, and uh, 500 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, which mixes in at about, I think it, the ratio is uh, one to 14, a mix of alcohol to uh, distilled water. Well, that's how I mix my record washing fluid. It's a slightly modified version of a formula I found on the London uh, Jazz Collectors Club uh, website. I know that uh, it can be a very controversial subject. Everybody's got their own idea of what should and shouldn't go into the uh, record cleaning fluids. Some people absolutely hate alcohol. Some people use huge amounts of it. Some don't like Ilfetol. Some prefer uh, other chemicals like Codex Photo Flow or uh, Triton X100 or Tegrasol. Or a few other different chemicals. I'll include a few links to uh, different places like the uh, Canadian Institute for Conservation in the U.S. The Library of Congress. They have their own formulas which just they use Tegrasol and uh, that's a chemical I can't get in Canada. Well I can but it's insanely expensive to get it here. So we switched to other uh, options like Ilford's, Ilfetol or uh, you can sometimes get Triton X100 off of places like Amazon, but again, it's on the expensive side. And the jazz vinyl collectors don't use any washing up fluid in there. So I just put a couple of drops in for good luck. I don't think it causes any damage or anything else. But again, that's my formula. Everybody has to come up with whatever they think works for their records. Uh, that's it for now. So long, bye-bye, and see you around on that tube thing.